15. Sulfuric acid is manufactured by a series of reactions represented by the following equations. And then we have these three equations over here. But the question is, they wanted us to draw a Lewis structure, predict the molecular geometry by Vesper, and determine the hybridization of sulfur for the following. And in this case, we're going to do all of that for the SO2 molecule. So do we really need to know these three reactions? Absolutely not. All we have to do is just take the SO2, draw the structure, what's the geometry, and then say the hybridization of the sulfur. So we can't predict the geometry or the hybridization without drawing a Lewis structure first. So that we're going to do right away. Now there's tons of videos on this channel designated to just drawing a Lewis structure. So if you need a more clearer explanation or a more in-depth explanation, you could always check back on those playlists on the channel and we'll go at a more slower pace for Lewis structures, but let's see if your Lewis structure will match mine. So least electronegative in the middle, right? Oxygen is more electronegative than sulfur. So sulfur has got to be in the middle surrounded by the two oxygens. So one and two. Now put your valence electrons about around the sulfur and the oxygen. The sulfur and oxygen, they're in the same group, right? Oxygen's on top, sulfur's on the bottom on the periodic table. They're both in group um, 16 or 6A. So they, they get six valence electrons. Maybe I'll say one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We make all single bonds first, and then we check to see if we need to make a double bond. So I'm going to check those outer elements, and the sulfur, not the sulfur, the oxygen, it has seven, right? Two, four, six, seven electrons. So it needs one more, so it's going to make a double bond. So one electron from the sulfur, the other electron from the oxygen is going to bind up, just like that. And now we have a beautiful double bond, and this oxygen is good. Let's check the other oxygen. Same problem here. It's got seven electrons. It wants the eight. So this electron will come in. This guy will come in, make a bond. And now that oxygen is all good because it wants the octet. And for this, sulfur, even though it's got more than eight electrons, it's got 10, that's okay because sulfur can have an expanded octet. So Lewis structure, done. Now we're moving on to geometry. So in this case, we're looking at the sulfur. They wanted the, the geometry, and the geometry always comes from the central atom, which is the sulfur. Now in this case, it looks like the sulfur is bound to one oxygen, it's bound to two oxygens, and it's got one lone pair. So when I'm looking at my geometries, I say, what is the geometry in which I'm bound to one oxygen, I'm bound to another oxygen, and a lone pair? So I got two bonds and one lone pair. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's a double bond or a single bond. It's just a, you think of it as like a connection. So I scan this, and probably your teacher or professor probably wants you to memorize this, but I'm looking for one that has a central atom, so A, with two outer elements. So like this one can't be it because that has three outer elements. They're labeled as X. So I'm looking for two outer elements and one lone pair, and that is this one. So we can call this as bent or angular, but bent is more used, so we'll call it bent. And now we just have to do the hybridization of sulfur. So I'm looking now directly at that sulfur. And hybridization, there's a total of five of them, but hybridization is easily memorized by knowing your hybridizations and how many letters are in each hybridization. Hybridization is just talking about the specific orbitals, S, P, and D, that are being used to overlap in your covalent compound. So like an sp2 has one s and two p's. That's a total of three letters. sp3, one s and three p's, that has a total of four letters. And all of those letters represent the total number of things around the element. One thing is one single bond. 
one double bond is one thing, even though it has a double line. It's grouped together as one thing. One triple bond is one thing and a lone pair. So now let's see what's going on around the what's going on around the sulfur. Well, I see that I have one double bond, so that is one thing. I have another double bond, that's two things, and I have a lone pair. I can't count these lone electrons because they are not for sulfur. They're to the oxygen. So for sulfur, I got three things. So three things, three letters. So the hybridization for that sulfur is sp2, and we are done. So sp2 hybridization for sulfur, the geometry is bent, and there's the Lewis structure, and that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day out there, and let's just keep working hard, all right? I believe in you guys. Good luck on your tests and quizzes, and I'm so glad that, you know, this channel is helping you out with studying. You know, I've been getting a lot of comments saying how, you know, this channel is helping them on their tests and quizzes, and I'm so glad to hear that. So let's just keep working hard. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.